Hi, Internet. So I've had a lot of fun uh, restarting my PS2 collection, and recently I even decided to start my NES collection. Now, I got rid of most of these collections just because I kind of hit a wall with collecting and I wasn't enjoying the hobby anymore. So I got rid of basically everything I'm starting over, and here you can see me putting the first few NES games I got back onto my little table, along with the two stacks of PS2 games I've bought recently. So let's go through the NES games first. We have Kid Icarus, which I actually kept from my original collection because it's my favorite. Then we have the original Castlevania, a cl another classic. Then we have Mylon's Secret Castle. I picked this up because it was cheap and it's a classic AVGN episode. Ghosts and Goblins, uh, another classic title. Um, picked it up because it was cheap and it's actually quite fun. Every collection of NES games has to have Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, I believe, along with Tetris. They should also have Tetris. From Russia with fun. Yeah, okay. Also, Dracula's Curse. They didn't have Simon's Quest, though, so I was a bit disappointed. But other than that, I'm happy with these games. Also, fun fact, my NES, I found out, doesn't work. Here I am trying to play Kid Icarus, and I pop in the game, and push it in all the way, press down, Turn on the system, and it just boots and powers off over and over again. Not entirely sure why. So anyways, let's move on to the PlayStation 2 collection. We have Shadow of the Colossus, which I bought recently, which has actually gone down in price. I was a bit surprised for that. Destroy All Humans 2. I have Destroy All Humans somewhere on the shelf behind. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. This is a classic game. I highly recommend it. Uh, Crash Nitro Kart, played it at my cousin's house when I was younger. Same with Dave Mirror's Freestyle BMX 2, uh, played those when I was younger. Tekken 5, picked it up because it's a classic fighting game. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, another kind of classic PS2 game. Psychonauts, uh, I played the second one, thought it was extremely good, and decided to go back and play the first one. Beautiful Joe 2, you'll see Beautiful Joe 1 coming up soon. SSX Tricky. Never actually played this. I only played SSX on tour. Bully, my brother was a big fan of this game. And I actually opened it up because it felt really light, so I wasn't sure there was a game inside of it. The original SSX. Played this at a friend's house a long time ago, but haven't played it since. Max Payne. The opening of this freaked me out when I was a kid. Simpsons Road Rage. Barred this from my friend Omar growing up and played it all summer while he was off in um, the Middle East. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, didn't play this growing up, but it's currently the second most expensive PS2 game I own. The original Beautiful Joe, I love the art style of it. Need for Speed Underground 2, one of the all-time great racing games, and I picked it up for cheap. Mafia, haven't played this game, but I do know it's a classic. Shifters, I honestly don't know much about this. I just kind of picked it up because I, I would get it for free because my game sort of buy five, get the six, three. Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, really good SpongeBob title. And finally, Crazy Taxi. I also have this on the Dreamcast somewhere, but I don't really play Dreamcast ever, so. So, I'm going to pop some games out of my shelf there. You can see the NES collection sitting right there. Hopefully that'll grow and become nice and big and strong like it once was. But, in reality, I'm happy to start over with my collection. Um, collecting was becoming quite a bore for me, and i it's just so much funner when you get to buy things again. I know that sounds kind of dumb, and I know that sounds kind of asinine, but it really is like turning over a new leaf. You get to collect again, and that was the whole point of everything, and I enjoy it. Now, you also might be wondering, what happened to my PS4 collection? Well, that's going to come at a later video, so stay tuned for that. But this is all that's left of my PS4 collection. Um, yeah, I got rid of basically everything. Well over 150 games, as well as my PS3 collection. As well, that's another 80, 90 games. So, that'll come at a later video. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope everyone has a good week. Thank you for all the support. And thank you very much for watching, like, comment, subscribe.